Hey guys, Sam here from keycommerce.com. In this video, you're going to learn how to send sales notifications from Shopify to Slack whenever you get a new order. I love setting this up because I love seeing those orders come in and getting those notifications in Slack rather than just through the Shopify app. The tools we're going to use for this are Slack, which is some chat software like used for a lot of businesses to communicate amongst their team. We use it for our entire team on our e-commerce store as well as our other businesses. And we also have this set up so that we can receive those notifications every time we get an order. The whole team can see it. It's really, really cool. It's very motivating for us as we work on our store. We're also going to use Zapier. I've talked about Zapier in a few other videos as well. I use it to automate so many parts of my business and it's incredibly useful. You can use the free plan that works totally fine and we're gonna jump into this right now. So basically how this is going to work is that you have your Shopify store here and then you have Slack over here, the chat software over here. We're going to learn how to send the orders from here to here, that's all it is, just sending that information. Every time you get an order coming through here, boom, it sends that information to Slack and notifies you in a specific private channel. So here's what we need to do. We're going to open up our Slack workspace and we need to create a new private channel. So you're going to go to channels on the left, click plus, create a channel. I'm just gonna call it Shopify sales and make sure it's private, okay? Click create. It's then going to create a new channel for us. We're not gonna add anybody else here, just us at the moment. Now that that's created, we're gonna go over to Zapier. Make sure you log into your Zapier dashboard. If you don't have an account, you can have to create an account. It's free, it's totally fine. And then go make a zap. It's going to ask us what the trigger is. This is going to be Shopify. So just search for Shopify and then choose your event, which is going to be new order. Click continue. Just select your account. It's gonna ask you to actually sign in. I'm already signed in, so, but you can do that yourself. It's gonna ask you. Click save and continue once you've signed in. So then going to find some data to test the trigger. So it's found some data, a past order of ours. Now we're going to select the action. This is what's going to happen after we get a new order. So we're going to put, so we're going to put in Slack and the event is going to be send a private channel message. Click continue. Choose the account. It's going to be your Slack account. The channel is going to be the channel you created already. So Shopify sales, the message text. What I like to put in here is just, this is the notification you actually receive. So I like to put in cha-ching, new order. And then I like to put in maybe the name of the person, uh, then put in total price. So we have the total price there. Pretty cool, you can put in the, uh, as well, you can put in like the, the, the actual item, line item name. That's cool. You can format this how you want. This is what it's going to pull in these variables every time there's a new order. Really cool. Send as a bot. Yep, that's fine. You can put in Shopify here as the name. The next thing is the bot icon. What this is, is the image that's going to show with the notification. It doesn't matter too much, but I like to make it look nice. So I'm going to go to Google and I'm just going to put in, this is for Shopify. So Shopify icon logo. Go to images. I'm just going to pull one of the images here. I'm just gonna go uh, copy image address and just make sure it's a full URL that has a PNG or a JPEG. Go back and put this in there. Sometimes this won't work. So you have to find a new one as well. That's totally fine. The next one is include a link to this zap. I like to put no, um, auto expand links, set that to no. Link usernames and channel names, select no as well. Keep it really, really clean. Save and continue. It's then going to do a test run, but you can also click retest here. And boom, it says a private channel message was sent to Slack. Let me go over to Slack right now and check. So here in the Shopify sales, there it is. Boom, cha-ching, new order, John Smith, $378. And then there's the product. Um, and that's the actual icon there. So that's gonna look really nice as it goes down. Every time you get an order, it's gonna show up here. You're gonna get a notification. It's gonna be awesome. Something I might change is go back and actually change the message so that it has a dollar sign. I'd much rather see the dollar sign as well. So adding that in before, so it's gonna have the dollar sign, then the actual total price. Save and continue. Retest. And let's head back over. There it is again with the dollar sign. It doesn't show the image because it was already shown here, uh, but every time there's a new, like a new one, like in, uh, the next day or so, it'll show that again. So there it is, that's how you do it. Next thing we need to do is go back and click turn on zap. This is now gonna make it active and turn it on. Now it's turned on. Something I like to do is just edit the name, Shopify sales to Slack. 
And there we have it, that's done, that's live, and that's now automatically going to send all our sales over to Slack and notify us. It's really cool, the whole team can see it, we all get really excited when we get orders coming through. It's really nice, it's really, really cool. That's how you set up Shopify to Slack integration with Zapier to get those notifications of your sales. You can do this for many different things. You know, someone signs up to your email list, someone sends a contact form submission, you can use Zapier linking with Shopify and send it to Slack, send it to Google Sheets, send it to anywhere you'd like as long as that app is there in Zapier. Absolutely fantastic. I use this to automate so much of my business, guys. It saves so many hours every single month of all these little admin tasks. It's super helpful. If this video was helpful for you guys to set this up. Hit the like button. I really appreciate it. Let me know in the comments below and consider subscribing. Turn on notifications too so you can get more videos on how to grow your e-commerce store, all these things like that. Hope that was helpful. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.